Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take a look at this Lenovo ThinkCenter M80T desktop PC. This is available with the Intel Celeron, Pentium Gold, Core i3, i5, i7, or i9 CPUs. Let's take a look. This desktop PC has an Intel Core i7-10700 8-core processor, 2.9 GHz base, 4.8 GHz turbo, Intel UHD Graphics 630, 16 GB of DDR4 RAM, 512 GB NVMe M2 SSD, USB 3.2 Gen 2, Gigabit Ethernet, a DVD writer, TPM 2.0, 260 Watt power supply, and Windows 10 Pro 64-bit. On the front of the PC, you can see the power button, hard drive access light, microphone jack and headset jack, a USB Type-C, four USB Type-A, and the Slim Type DVD writer. There's a dummy in a location that could contain a card reader if that option was included. On the back of the PC, you can see the audio output, HDMI and two display ports, serial port, gigabit ethernet, four USB type A, expansion slots, the power supply, and a location for a rear fan that is not populated. I've already removed the thumb screws from the back and I did have to use a screwdriver. The top slides back and lifts off. Next, you can take off the front bezel by lifting these three tabs and lifting the front of the computer and pulling this forward. It does make a popping noise. Next, you want to take the CD drive out as well as these cables. So I'm going to pop them out of the little holder, press this catch and push the CD drive or DVD drive forward. Pull out the SATA data and power connectors. Power connector is pretty tight on this one and does take a little finagling to get out. After the cables are out of the way, you can pull this front catch and that allows the top to open. It's a little tough to get sometimes, especially if you don't pull it evenly. Once it's released, you can actually push this back and it'll lift up and off. Now you can really see inside. Here's the heat sink with fan covering the CPU. You've got an eight pin CPU power connector on the motherboard, but only a four pin from this small 260 watt power supply. You can also see the 16 gigs of RAM is a single stick, so running single channel, and there are four slots total. The NVMe drive is over here in an M2 slot, and if you order one of these that's not NVMe M2, you may not get the part that retains the drive. There's a second location for another PCI Express card for Wi-Fi. This model does not include Wi-Fi. There's a proprietary motherboard connector, and the power connectors for the drives are located on the motherboard as well. Lenovo is doing this more and more often, and I can't say I'm a fan. However, there are two X16 slots. This one is a true X16. There's an X1, and this is actually an X4 because there aren't pins passed here in the slot. There is a location for a fan on the back, I believe an 80 millimeter. There is a fan location on the front as well, though I'm not sure that you could get all the cables completely out of the way enough to use it without having to use a lot of zip ties. The overall pass mark score for this PC is 2775, which is the 36th percentile. The CPU mark is 16846, which is the 79th percentile. The 2D and 3D mark scores are low, 31st and 26th percentile respectively. This does only have integrated graphics, so a dedicated graphics card would perform much better. The memory mark is 2865, which is the 70th percentile. While it does have 16 gigs of RAM, it is only one stick, so it is not operating in dual channel mode. The disk mark is very high, the 97th percentile, which is 27826. Excellent. I'm glad to see that the pass mark score on this one exceeds the M70T in every category. That said, I'm a little disappointed that they're continuing to do the proprietary power supply and motherboard connections. 
Also, you can add a wireless card, but the bracket for the card is not included, neither are the antennas or the card, so you'd have to order several parts to upgrade this one to have Wi-Fi. I'll put a link in the description, and if you intend to purchase, if you could go ahead and use that link, it would help support our channel. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to add I didn't include, please put that in the comments as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks!